Hey guys and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on my channel putting up with the pom-poms I am Shantae and in this hair tutorial I'm showing you guys how I installed these crochet box braids But I did individuals going around the perimeter to make it look realistic All right, so we're gonna get into the details on this We're gonna talk about the hair the quality and how I achieved this look. Let's go ahead and get into it Now, of course, before we go any further, let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button. If you are new to our channel, come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey, bestie, hey, mama, hey, friend. Hope you are being blessed and safe as always. So here I am, freshly washed. I use the Soapbox Tea Tree Oil. I've been using that for the past couple of weeks, and it's really starting to grow on me. My first attempt at using it, I wasn't particularly like a big fan of it but now I really really do love it like I've experienced a lot less breakage using it just in those past couple of weeks and my hair has been really really soft so here I am dividing my hair into four sections working in small sections is definitely going to be key for this style and I'm below drying in my hair and of course I got to show y'all my inches real quick because my healthy hair journey for these past couple of years has been astronomical and I love to share in the wealth okay so so here I am showing you guys the first section I'm going in with to uh, blow dry. So I'm uh, making that section even smaller. And my rule of thumb for my sections when it comes to blow drying my hair is if it's too much hair for the brush that I'm using, it's probably too big and I need to go a little bit smaller. So I'm going in with the TPH Hot Commodity. This is a brand by Taraji P. Henson. And it is a heat protectant that is good for all hair types. And I'm always looking for products that are good for all hair types because I have like three different textures in my house so once I detangle my hair and smooth out the tangles using a tangle teaser brush I'm then gonna go in with my blow dryer I like to work down the shafts of my hair and then I go in with a ceramic barrel brush and I use this to dry my ends. I like using the ceramic brush because it heats up as I'm using the blow dryer and it helps getting my hair bone straight and I'm doing this so I can corn roll it up it's just a lot easier to corn roll my hair when it's blow dried so I'm gonna repeat those same steps going in with the hot commodity heat protectant spraying it through my, the shaft of my hair then I'm gonna detangle using a white tooth comb and then I'm gonna go in with my tangle teaser brush to smooth everything out and then go in with the blow dryer I have the blow dryer on high heat at a high velocity and then I'm gonna go in finishing up with my ceramic barrel brush to finish getting my ends nice and straight I'm gonna repeat those same steps throughout my entire head until everything is completely done of course the main key is to work in small sections and make sure you're using that heat protectant I am definitely liberal with my heat protectant making sure that I saturated my entire shaft I do not want to experience any kind of heat damage and of course take your time do not try to rest this process you could end up causing heat damage or breakage and the tension from all the brushing and combing can definitely cause damage as well just take your time and be patient once I have completed the last section of blow drying, I'm then gonna go in with the Design Essentials Agave and Lavender Thermal Protectant Cream. Now this product is a water-based product, so I do have to go back in with the blow dryer to seal it and make sure that it doesn't revert my hair back to curly. Um, so you are gonna see some steam coming from this product. It is not smoke, you're not experiencing heat damage, it's just the steam from the water-based product. That's what happens when you apply a hot heat to water you're going to get steam so do not feel threatened by it um, so this is my hair completely done and my light kept going out as you can see me fighting with it but I just want you to see my inches and the health of my hair it's like insane to think that I was completely bald just a couple of years ago being my shed hair which was very minimum now moving on to my braid pattern so I have taken out the perimeter this is where I'm going to do my individual braids and I just did a flat twist to kind of keep that out of the way now the center of my hair that is all going to be corn rolled so I'm going in first creating that first part that first corn roll that I'm gonna go in with and I'm going to come across the bottom as well so that corn roll is going to go back and then across the back of my neck as you can see and then I'm trying to use my mirror to see how I'm doing and that's going to be the crochet row to kind of like 
cap off the rest of the crochets. Now I started that first corn roll on my left side and then I'm gonna do the next corn roll on my right side because I ended on my right side. I want the next corn roll to connect with that one because I don't wanna have a bunch of like loose ends that I have to pin up. So what I'm doing is creating that second corn roll going straight back and once I get about halfway, I'm then going to grab that first corn roll that we did and I'm gonna connect it into this braid and just continue on down so we don't have those multiple ends everything's gonna be connected together so I continue connecting those braids all straight back until now all I have is this one braid that I have to tuck in later. Now that I have completed my braid pattern, I'm then gonna go in with some hair oil. This is the Black Seed Baby Grow and Glow Oil. I've been using it for the past couple of months for myself and my girl. And it has been a pretty good oil. We haven't had any issues. Um, it definitely lasts for a couple of days before I do have to go in and re-oil my scalp. But this is it. This is how my pattern is looking now. now I'm going in with my crochet needle to tuck in that last braid and all I do is just bring it across the back side of the braids and just pull it through like a regular crochet. And now it is time for the braids. I'm going in with these 32 inch long crochet box braids in the color number two that I purchased off of Amazon. It came with a pack of seven with 20 strands in each. Of course, I will have all of the products and the hairs that I use to create this look tagged on my Amazon storefront. The link will be provided down below in the description box. I only use maybe 70 to 80 strands just for the middle part. Now I did make sure that I kind of like stack them on top of each other so the braids are definitely a lot more dense than if you would have like some reg like natural box braids but that was to make sure that you wouldn't see the corn rolls in between and I really like the way it looks so far they definitely were lightweight it doesn't feel heavy at all it took me 45 minutes just to install the crochet braids so that was like super easy it, they're, they're so simple to install and this is everything now I'm just kind of showing you the length they shot fall right below my waist and then I'm also checking the back to make sure I didn't miss no braids and I'm glad I did because I did miss like an entire braid like right there oh my goodness it, nothing was over there so I had to make sure that I fill everything in so make sure you always check the back of your head there's no telling what is going on back there it may look like everything is filled in and you'll have a whole missing piece so now that I have everything filled in it's now time to work on the perimeter braids so as far as the parting that was pretty simple Simple. I just kind of extended where I did the corn roll. I do have a widow speak, so because of that, I did have to go in with a two braids instead of one for that kind that row. But for the rest of the perimeter, I did one braid and it would it filled it in nice. I was kind of glad because I had to braid all this hair. So the braiding hair that I'm using is at 36 inches long. The crochet hair is 32 inches, but of course, once you start braiding the hair, it does shorten. So once I got done with it, it fell like probably like an inch shy of the 32 inch long crochet braids, which was actually good. So I'm going in with two methods or I'm gonna show you two methods on how to braid your hair so the first one I'm going in with my braiding hair and I'm using my hair as the third strand so all I'm essentially doing is wrapping the braiding hair around my individual hair and then continue braiding it using those three strands regular now the con about using this method is that I end up having to uh, of course once my hair runs out I have to kind of like borrow hair Hair from the other strands and that can be a little difficult and it can also make your braid look a little janky borrowing all that hair so that isn't one of my favorite methods but it is a very easy and beginner friendly method now the second method that I like to use is I take my braiding hair and I divide it but I don't divide it in half I kind of do like a one-third I take one-third piece away from it and that one-third that I took away I'm going to wrap it around the braiding hair and what essentially is happening is that one third piece becomes its own strand and then of course I have these two strands that are now going to make up my three strands for my braids so I don't have to worry about borrowing hair now you have to kind of like do this movement with your fingers and I have no way of explaining that guys I'm so sorry I hope me slowing it down <laughs> will just kind of help you with it 
but essentially all I'm doing here is just adding my hair into the braiding hair. I don't have to borrow hair once I'm braiding it down. So once I run out of my hair, I just continue as normal. Of course, use gel once you, sh once you get to the end of your hair because you don't want it to start sticking out. And since my hair is brown at the tips, that does make it a little bit difficult with blending, but I try my best. If you can't see, it is what it is. I am not hung up on it. These braids are the ones that I braided myself and now I'm going to dip them in hot water and we are done. Also, um, this is a completed look for the box braids. Um, I've had them in for two weeks now, going on two weeks. Um, and this is about the time where I'd be ready to snatch these out and be on to the next style. Two weeks is usually my max when it comes to protective styles. I don't know why, but it really just is. Um, but my plan is to keep these in until the end of the month. I have a trip where we're going to uh, DC and I want to kind of wear these out there and um, then take them back out when I come back down. I really do love this style. I have worn it pretty much down the entire two weeks that I've had it. It is starting to like grow out at the roots now. I don't know if you can really tell, but but it, it looks good like it looks really good like if I, I feel like if I do need to like touch it up all I have to do is just take out this perimeter I have 70 braids in um, my intentions was to only put in like 40 in the middle that's about average for like a regular box braid style but I did 70 because I didn't want you to see the cornrows I kind of you know I, I, I packed them in there but that was my choice of course you can make that decision on your own when you do your own style so yeah 70 strands of these and then my perimeter i have another 15 15 or 20 going around my perimeter i love the quality of these braids they haven't like i haven't had any of them unraveling to be honest the crochet braids are holding up a whole lot better than the braids i did myself like this is the braid i did myself and this is the crochet braid it just looks so nice and uniform like i'm so jealous like, it took me uh, five hours and that's just braiding not the washing and the blow drying part just the braiding part braiding my own hair down crocheting and then braiding these long ass braids as well if you want to uh, purchase the hair to uh, create this look it will be linked down below in my amazon storefront go ahead and end this real quick thank you guys for joining us on another video do not forget to check out tomorrow's video i'm going to be doing some head wraps i haven't done a head wrap tutorial in a couple of years and i feel like it's time to update you guys on what i've been doing lately so i will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe